Two Granite Collectibles here for an action figure review. Today, we are looking at the 2022 Hasbro Marvel Legends Scorpion, part of the Spider-Man Retro Wave. He comes in the standard Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Card Back Packaging. As you can see here, we have only the figure inside. There is no other accessories. He does have a long bendy tail. From the back is more art in homage of the old Toy Viz action figures and a short read up. Pause it right now so you can take a read. In terms of the action figure, I was trying to figure out whether he has photo real eyes, which Hasbro has been using for quite some time. He doesn't. There are molded details on his body's body. The lines are molded, which is good. It's not just painted on. He doesn't have any molded gloves or boot, but they are painted really well. In terms of his face, as you can see, the facial expression is appropriate for this character. The black line that surrounds his eyes are molded on. While the other details that you can see, the painted dark green, they're just painted on. So this is a bit different from the old Scorpion but it is essentially the same body. So you can see his tail is very long and those lines on his tail is sculpted on as well. There is a consistency in terms of how he is built. In terms of the body, you can see it's the old body with double jointed pin elbow. So there's pins. I don't mind the pins because they are of the same color or of the same shade of green. Double jointed knees as well with pins again. In terms of his tail, you can see there how far it goes. He comes with a closed fist and an open palm hand for the right hand. In terms of the articulation, he has a swivel on the upper torso and a swivel on the waist, as you can see, swivel on the upper thigh and a boot cut there, as you can see in focus, there you can see the boot swivel there. He has, he has pretty decent articulation that will help you as you pose around his tail. Mac Gargan's first appearance is in The Amazing Spider-Man number 19. But as Scorpion, it is in The Amazing Spider-Man number 20. JJJ hired Mac to spy on Peter Parker, trying to find out how Peter manages to take photos of Spider-Man. In the end, JJJ decided to hire a doctor that is an expert in mutation. So, he transformed Mac into a super-powered human being and gave him a costume to match, which is the Scorpion costume. He is able to control a tail from, from his spine. In terms of this tail in the action figure, it is 40 centimeters or 15.8 inches long. The tail cannot fully like squeeze or crush another action figure there seems to be some resi resistance similar to the lizard action figure wherein the bendy wire or or bendy technology of Tasbro there is some kind of resistance maybe because of the plastic that they're using the outer plastic so you can't just fully like capture spider-man in terms of the claw or the sharp object at the end of his tail, it was provided by Justin Hammer. So it was an upgrade from his original costume. 
The panel shown here is from The Amazing Spider-Man number 318, September 1989. Art is done by Todd McFarlane. The action figure is 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches tall. According to Marvel.com, Scorpion is 6 feet 3 inches tall, making the 112 scale just spot on. Here he is besides Wolverine and Retro Spider-Man. Next we have Spider-Gwen and Shriek. For a Thunderbolt size comparison, we have Moonstone and Satana. Next we have taller ladies, Angela and Tundra. Next we have Hasbro Mara Legends, Retro Lizard and Rhino. For taller action figures, 7-inch scale, Marvel Select, Sabretooth, and Hulk. In terms of other Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Wave action figures, first we have from Wave 1, we have Spider-Man, Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, and Electro. Other figures, Spider-Man 2099, Black Cat, Mysterio, and the Deluxe Kingpin. From Wave 2, here we have the Black Suit Spider-Man, Ben Riley, Shocker, Hammerhead, and Hobgoblin. The Good This action figure screams out nostalgia in terms of the bright colors which resonates to fans of the animated series. Thankfully, Another good thing with this figure is the bend detail. This is essential as the character uses the bend detail as a weapon against his enemies. The bad thing is there is no alternate head and there are no other accessories. I don't believe that it is too much to ask for a pair of closed fist and a pair of open palm for this character because Hasbro has already molds for those type of alternate hands. For some collectors, the bright colors falls on the bad side of this figure because some collectors prefer the Todd McFarlane 90s kind of scorpion which is now expensive because it has been a few years back since the Molten Man filled the figure wave. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other action figure review videos in this YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell.